Let's join in. Just starting a fresh painting. Well, we've got a bit of a Prussian, Prussian blue. joining. Going to do a nice little painting. Nice little sceneretic painting. Sceneretic, is that a word? Sceneretic. <laughs> Is it a word? <laughs> okay, I'm thinking about putting some a um, little bit of. I'll just try this red here. A little bit of red in the sky. Just applying the colour, and then um, going to blend it all out so it should look a little bit better than this. <laughs> just going to get some white on the board as well. We can have a nice little mountain in the background. All right, let's see where we are. Let's just see how that comes out. God, it's so red. That's probably somewhere like the colour I'm looking for. If we go about maybe around here, Maybe just a little bit, a little bit darker. Have that going up there somewhere. If we're gonna have a mountain, maybe have it somewhere sort of behind as well. Just a bit of color. Okay, now let's do a bit more work in here. Make sure I get underneath there. Okay. Right, I'm just blend that in a bit and see where we go. I'm gonna pull down here. patterns in the sky. Maybe do a little cloud. Okay, so uh, Mervyn, did you dress your canvas first? Yeah, I've got some, um, I got some liquid white on first. And uh, yeah, I was either gonna do this painting tonight or another one. I, I thought I needed to um, do this one that I had on my mind. Just wanted to get this one out, sort of, well not out of the way, but I just wanted to do this one first. Okay, that'll do. Sort of what I wanted. Gonna have a mount in there, so just blending them little bits in a bit better. Making sure there's no little bits on there. So, where's everyone watching from? A little bit of something on there. That's it. Just want to try and get it a little bit, a little bit darker at the top, just a bit around here. Okay. 
just doing a little bit by little bit because you can make, you know, it too dark. But yeah, that's more what I'm looking for. I'll get there in the end. Hey, Jerry, how you doing? Hello, Sandy. Hello. Oh, someone's in Bath, England. Oh, Mervyn's in Bath, England. RJ's in France. Ian's in bed. <laughs> Tea or lemon sip tonight, buddy. I'm all right now. I've nearly got over it. It's the worst case of flu I've ever had. How's everyone doing, anyway? Nice to have you all here. I'm faffing around just getting this a bit darker at the top. Just wanted it a bit darker. Nice to have you all here. Yeah, Jerry's in Croydon. Uh, Jumper's in Manchester. Wow. Who else is in bed? Because a lot of people are normally in bed this time of night, aren't they? Let's be... Oh, I've got a little hair there. Take that off. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Actually, that's better. That's better, a little bit darker at the top of the canvas. Yeah, that's nice. I like that. Any little bits, get up, use the brush to get it off. See a little bit there. Okay. Jerry's on the sofa. <laughs> that's all right, that's where I've been. I nearly didn't come on, but I thought, come on, let, let, let's get in gear and let's go and do a nice little painting. So, here I am, here I am, I am. Right, let's get a bit of white and try and add a few little clouds in. So just loading up the white there. All right, let's flip over what these clouds, maybe. Maybe one there. Just a couple. Just a couple of clouds. across there, maybe there's a little one there that you can hardly see. Right, where's the white brush? Keep that one. I'm gonna fluff these out a bit. Fluff down the bottom, they could do a little bit of white up at the top actually. Right, let me read some uh, I've been trying to learn how to paint. Keep going, Jemba. Keep trying and trying. Can you say happy birthday to my son, Yancy? Happy birthday, Yancy. Nick Nova. How you doing? Let's just get that a bit more white up the top. There we go. All right, let's just feather these out a little bit. I'm trying to keep some of that white at the top. And then we're going to lift up. Um, if I can find my brush, I think I was using this one. Alright, let's lift up. I just fluff out them clouds. This is where this bit gets in the way. I should really take this off. <laughs> right, let's read the comments. Lots of people here tonight. Yeah, nice to have a lot of people here. Third week of flu, waiting for the light at the end of the tunnel, just wanting the cough. Oh my goodness, so I'm not a cougher, and it was like the worst cough I'd ever had. It, I've had COVID twice, and that was definitely worse than COVID. That was definitely worse than COVID. I'm just taking that off because it's kind of in the way there. So I hope you feel better soon. Yeah, it's um, 
it's a nasty thing going around and also there's that um what's that other thing going around i'll see it on the news um i need a bit more white in these clouds Right, let's fluff these up. Some little distant clouds there. As easy as that. Just blending them out a little bit. Okay, we can start thinking about getting a mountain on there. Right, let's read the comments. Um, that's it, yeah, trail snails, ste uh, strep A, yeah. Nasty. I've heard like some people have died from it as well, it's awful. I mean, I've got a pretty weak immune system when I get stuff, so when I had this flu, I was, I was literally in bed for like, well, over a week. You know, usual aches and pains, it affects people in different ways, but it always knocks me for six. Okay, let's make some, let's make some mountain paint. I'm just going to continue this board. I've got like three easels. I'm going to use a little bit of black, a little bit of black. I'm going to use that little hint of red in there as well. I've already got out. So, who's had roast dinner today? I haven't. I, I was, um, yeah, roast dinner. Mm. I had end up having pizza because I was lazy. Well, I'm just going to add a little bit of brown in, in, into this and a little bit of a little bit of this red make up this nice mountain colour. Do I want it do I want it sort of that colour? Give it a little bit. Yeah, something like that. Actually I'm thinking like a little bit more a little bit more greyer. See what this comes out like. If not, I can use this for some mud later. It's quite a nice colour, actually. It's like a grey sort of... Yeah, I think I'll go with that. Right, cut across, a little roll of paint on the end there. And we'll throw some in. Reminds me of the sky, uh, the sky from the movie Up for some reason. Oh yeah, I remember that film. Carl and, Carl and Ellie, and funny enough, my name's Carl and my ex-girlfriend was called Ellie. <laughs> so yeah, that film. I missed all this, can you start again? Sure. <laughs> uh, make sure you catch the next one at the start. Okay, let's think about where we want to melt in. Let's go somewhere here. Just scratching some paint in. We don't want a lot of paint on there. Maybe it comes down there, up there. And down there somewhere. Maybe it's got another little peak there. Hopefully this is going to be in the distance and it just comes down there. A little sort of flat bit in there. There we go, that's the basic sort of melting shape. So let's just pull that down. Uh, you, with your brush strokes, you can determine where, you know, these mountains are gonna be. So we can pull down that way. Maybe that one comes down, no, that one comes down there. Down 
there. And then that's a little bit there. Maybe that one comes right down in front. Okay. I'll try and diffuse some of this. Just using a little brush here. Just trying to get some sort of mist at the bottom. Using a tiny little brush, but um, I could use a big one, but it's cleaning them out all the time, you know, as well. So, uh, Obiti, I can't pronounce the name, Obiti G, Obiti, I'm, I'm rubbish to pronounce the name, Boss, Bob Ross vibes, absolutely, mate. Nice to have you here. Uh, Mikey reminds me of Bob Ross, stop that music. The noise from painting and talking is more relaxing. <laughs> I have to have the music on, unfortunately. Uh, Carol Anderson, I love it. Nice to have you here. Right, just, uh, I'm just gonna clean my, clean my brush a little bit. Uh, important to keep a clean brush. Right. So I'm just gonna lift up here in the hope of creating a little bit of mist at the bottom of the mountain. And then we can put some, you know, stuff in front. Now, should we put some snow on this mountain? Should we put some snow on? Got to figure out what brushes for what. Um, all right, let's get another little palette out, and get some white out. Bit, bit, beat the devil out of it, absolutely. <laughs> Ultra chilled watching the process. Oh, thanks, Robbie. Uh, Miss Penny Youth, hi. I really want to do this. I have all the stuff, but just can't do it. Yes, you can. You can do it. If you go to my, underneath my profile picture on TikTok, there's a link that takes you to all of my links and YouTube's on there. And I upload all these live streams to YouTube so you can pause, you can watch it and pause. I've got shorts on there and full videos. But you can, you can do it. Take your time. Don't worry about making mistakes. Um, let me just get some tissue. Just do it. I had my easel for some time. Didn't really have all the paints, but I just got all the stuff and did it. Just dump in the deep end, that's the best way. These are oil paints. Amanda, these are oil paints. Are these paint paintings the location where you bury bodies like Bob Ross? <laughs> I've seen that, it's hilarious. Well, I'm just gonna add a little bit of this blue to this white. Now this is quite strong, so just a tiny, tiny hint of blue there. And then we can add some, I think that's right. Cut across a little roll of paint on the end. And we're gonna drag some, we're gonna put some snow on these mountains. Maybe that one's just got a little bit there. Just very light pressure. They're literally like dragging across the um, dragging the top across the top of the canvas. If I've missed any um, followers and comments, I'm sorry. Any gifts, um, I much appreciate. I haven't got a clue where to start. Just you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. I might add a little bit more white to this yet, yeah, but let's have this one sweeping right down there. I'm gonna add a bit of white to that. It's just a little bit too, a little bit too blue. I can leave a little bit there for 
for some um, highlights. Maybe this one comes up there. How this one goes, that'll come down to about there, and then we'll have some blue going that way. You can carry on here. And we're going to put some more over here. Um, I'm trying to keep up with the comments. I was looking at your wish list, but I can't see how to send you stuff other than. To my home address oh thank you very much if you want to send anything from my wish list you literally just buy it and it'll get sent to me straight away um you don't have to do anything you just buy it and it'll just come through and i really appreciate that i think it helps out a lot okay so let's think how this one goes so that one can come down there do we want this one in front or that one behind a little a little bit of snow in there Maybe we, we can just have all that one coming. That one can come down there in front of it. So I'll just come around here. I'm putting tiny, tiny bits on. Just being very, very gentle with it. bit up there on that peak. Just turn the blade round. There we go. Now I can add a little bit of, go for this blue and just put a bit of highlight, well shadow more like. So I've gone a bit more blue. You could always pick it up and paint my house while you were here. <laughs> yep. What brands? Oh, so many, the, the comments so, so fast tonight. Sorry if I miss any. Two hairs and some air. I love that saying. Two hairs and some air. Right, let's put a little bit of. See? That's a bit dark in there, isn't it? That's sort of a shadow. We can put some little, tiny if we're very careful and put some little shadows in there this is like one of the most enjoyable things you can do and it's the most relaxing one of the most relaxing things you can do as well so you see the little shadow uh, the, the color change there I can also put some down this side I'm being very careful I don't want to get too much of this I don't want to cover up too much of the um, the mountain color itself thank you so much for that I think that's my first gift I really appreciate gifts they help me buy paint because they're so expensive <laughs> and canvases thank you so much Jerry the blue made it perfect yes I agree so I'm gonna add a little bit more blue down that other side I need a um, person to read me out the the comments. Anyone want a job? I need to paint and read the comments as well. So maybe just a little, a little bit in there. Sometimes less is more. Oh, thank you very much, everyone. Everyone's putting beautiful. The blue made it. Oh, Ems, Moss, thanks for the rose. Much appreciated. Wow, thank you. I'm not in Australia. I'm in Buckinghamshire. In England. So I'm, I'm from England. So... 
I'm just doing some finer details now as I'm closer to the board. There we go. Thanks for the likes, everyone, as well. If you're enjoying the stream, do tap the screen. It helps me out. Uh, Leanne, amazing. Thank you so much. Yes, I do sell them. If you're interested in buying any of my paintings, I've literally changed my shop today, and now everything's on eBay. So if you look underneath my profile picture on TikTok, under there is one link. That link opens up everything. My Instagram, um, where to buy my paintings, and loads of other stuff. So go and click that link and have a look. It's all nice, it's really nice to have you all here. Oh, thank you so much. I, um, Mickey, I've watched Bob Ross for over 20 years, seeing you paint like this is nice. Oh yeah. I discovered Bob Ross at, um, two years ago. Two years ago. And of course, Bill Alexander, who taught, who taught Bob Ross. Um, it's amazing really, isn't it? It's amazing what you can do. Well, right, let's just, um, further some of this out. So we've got a little bit of mist there. Not that we're going to see too much of that because I'm going to do some little foothills and stuff like that. Right, let's get some of this, some of these out of the way. Right, so we think about putting some little foothills in and I've got a nice big board, fresh big board and I'll knock up some green colours. So let's start somewhere up here. Get some colour on this board. Uh, thanks for the fo new followers. Thank you for pressing the screen and liking it. Thanks for any gifts that I've missed because I'm trying to do a hundred things at once. And thank you for being here. Do you give classes how to draw? No, I don't. Um, I'm literally just doing lives. I started this year, so. So we've got some green there. But you can watch any of my live streams back on my YouTube channel. And let's try some of this green over here. Might do a bit of mixing, a bit of this, a bit of that. And some white. Let's see where we are. Do you have a little figurine of morph? No. <laughs> <laughs> Is that Heartbeat, Tony Hart? <laughs> I remember that, I remember that. That was wicked. <laughs> that made me laugh. Right, let's think about... Right, I've got to find a brush. I'm, I'm literally covered in brushes. Cool, that really is a vibrant green there. So I'm going to dull that down. I think somewhere like that. That one's really quite vibrant, so I might just sort of dull that down with a bit of white. Yeah, I think that's okay. Right, let's think where we want these sort of hills coming in somewhere maybe there we'll come down like that maybe somewhere somewhere like that as Bob Ross said go with the lay of the land Lay of the land. It looks a different colour on your screen to what it does here. Okay, let's go. Put some little ones in there. Coming down this way. I'm trying to read all the comments. The mountain is awesome. Ah, oh, thank you so much, Jerry. We can leave some little things in there. The green does look different on, on, on the um, TikTok screen. I'm looking at that now. Happy accidents. Happy accidents, yeah, squirrels. Main count got 10 pounds for going 50 people. Let's see. 
Okay. But right, I'm gonna tap this bit out. Go to about there, because I can do some trees and stuff there. And let's just go straight across. And you can just flick up a little bit. And that makes like little tiny trees in the background. Little tiny trees, lots of little trees right in the background there. <coughs> okay. Right. Now I'm just going to pull up here again and diffuse some of that first. I've got to be careful because I've took the um, hold off. Hopefully you can still see this. I'm just tapping this out. Just to create a little bit of mist again. Hopefully my arm's not too much in the way. Uh, mountains look absolutely insane now. Thank you so much, Emily. <laughs> if you're new to the channel, don't forget to follow. Thanks for being here. Nice to have so many tonight. So I've just like, <coughs> excuse me, I've still got a bit of the cough from the old flu. Um, I'm just gonna blend that out a little bit. Right, so let's think about another, or we'll have another little layer there, and then maybe some water. So I need some green and, and blue for the water, but I'll just, I'll just put like another little layer in somewhere. There. That just comes along there. So it's a little bit darker, as you get closer you can go darker and it gives the illusion like the other bits further back. Yes, we're going to have a nice little lake, maybe a tiny little waterfall, see how I feel. Just putting these layers in here. And again, just pull up. Giving little like sticks and all sorts of stuff. Just fill that little bit in a bit better. Uh, my 14 year old wants to learn, so glad I found you. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, do check out my YouTube channel. All, all these are uploaded. He can um, press play and paint with me and then pause. And if you're watching the YouTube video now, have a little pause <laughs> and then carry on. <laughs> Okay, so, where's my blue? I get, I've got some blue left here from up there. So let's put, I'm gonna pick up, uh, I'm gonna put some blue here. I'll come in this way as well. I'll probably put, a, maybe put, um, maybe put a hint of green in. Maybe leave that, and maybe we can have a bit of blue there coming down. There we go. We can have some rocks, and I'm just putting blue there. Now I'm gonna pick up a tiny, tiny little bit of green. I've picked up a little tiny little bit of green on the end of the brush there, and I'm hoping that this will, well, I'm gonna do it lightly because it's up. Just a little bit of green in with that water. Sorry if I'm not reading the comments. I'm painting, so it's really hard. Thank you for the rose. I've just spo I've just spotted a rose. Gifts mean the world to me because paint's so expensive, canvases are so expensive. Blah 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 blah. I send two pound fifty a month. <laughs> also, I will say this though: you can subscribe to me um, if you look at the top of the screen. There's a little star, you can subscribe to me each month. Thank you for the rose, everyone. I've just spotted that. Really appreciate it. 
Right, let's do a bit of blending. Uh, let's think. It's just a bit more. Right, I'm going to turn the brush around because that's where the green is. Thanks for the roses, I can see that. Right, let's uh, just blend this out a little bit. So I've got the magic white on the board to begin with, so that really sort of helps out. I'm just pulling down here as well. I can put extra reflections in or whatever. But this is just so, this is basically just so I've got, I know the water's there, you know, the color, I can add to it, I can change it. Wow, I've got some Bob Ross grills, thank you so much, really appreciate it. <laughs> That's so nice, host, host for hot, thank you very much. The mountains look amazing, thank you so much. Oh, little Santa, thank you so much. Jerry, Jerry in with the candy canes, thank you. You guys are awesome. Okay, now let's think about, now let's think about this, what do we do now? Maybe just a little bit of land. Thank you for the gifts. Clean your brush and beat the devil out of it. <laughs> yeah, beat the devil out of it. I've no I noticed how um, Bob Ross um, says white. It sounds like he says white, like he pronounces the H as well. I picked that up the other day. I was watching one of his videos. Okay, so let's think about a little bit of just pulling down here. I'm going to put some mud in afterwards. But just pulling down a little bit there. And where was that mountain colour? I might just dot a little bit in. This could be very strong, so. I want to be careful here. Just sort of. Just trying to, I mean, I'm, I'm literally using two hairs and I'm just putting some color on where they sort of. The mountain would be. It doesn't have to be perfect, but as long as it's, there's some sort of there and that'll give the illusion of some water. Right, so that's there. Now we can um, hopefully feather that out. And then we've got instant reflections. You can see, just make out a little bit. Not too much, not too mad. I think just a little bit more there. Just a little bit. There we go. So you've got green and blue in the water, all sorts of stuff. So let's think about getting some different colors on the board and maybe do some rocks, get you know, set this in, and then we we'll do some trees either side. Thanks for the rose, much appreciated. I li literally watch Bob Ross every night with my cat. Oh, I love cats, I've got one. I'm watching this, and my cat now, she loves it. Meow. Oh, I should have brought my cat in, but she'll be covered in paint. You guys have to meet my cat. <laughs> I love cats, don't you just love cats? Oh, thank you so much for the candy canes. She's my little world, I tell you. She's so cute, it's just so cute. Right. Okay, so let's think about, let's put a bit more blue here. And let's do a nice little, maybe a little waterfall, eh? Eh? 
No, I get my big fan brush. If I missed any gifts, thank you. New followers, thank you. Thanks for everyone to be here. Please keep tapping the screen if you like. If you like what you're seeing, um, help me. We can help. We can get more viewers in here. That's the way TikTok works. Um, some new people, some new artists. Right. This is the trouble, right? I'm using so many brushes. I've got to try and remember which one's which. Well, I'm just getting a bit of white out. And hopefully, I've got some, um, thank you for the gift, appreciate that. I just saw that. Little Rose, this is interesting watching you pulling out uh, with your place in the camera, thank you. Stunning picture, thank you so much. Love them clouds, thank you. So I've just got a bit of magic white here that I've actually made up myself. And I'm just gonna add this to a bit of the titanium white just to thin it down just a little bit. And we can think about a little waterfall somewhere. Now I could do with, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna put the lid on that because I know that will go everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> so I could do with this lifted up give me one second I'm just going to get a bit of wood and I'm going to very carefully very carefully put that there just for a second because the bottom actually that might have made it worse I just want to do a nice little waterfall Maybe, oh, I need some more paint. Oh. There we go. It's getting there. And we can have some splashes and stuff down there. And I can build around this. I can build around it. Let's have a little bit in there. The water's coming down. <clears throat> the water's coming down there. And splashing up. There we go, a bit of free AMSR with the sound effects at the same time. <laughs> right, we can think about adding some um, rocks by the side. Because uh, I've got blue under there as well, so it's picking the blue up very easily. So sometimes you have to keep dipping it in just to get them little white streaks. Because I think the, as that's pouring down there, you know, just gives. Just little highlights of white, I think quite important. There we go. You're hearing the waterfall. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna add some magic trees in soon. Yeah. And let's add some rock in. Now I think I'll use the same colour as the mountain for the rocks. Why not? I just need to clean my palette knife. And I've got that already knocked up over here. So we can make some land and then think about having some trees so let's put some, let's, oh, I can take this back off now. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, the only thing with this is I can't seem to get down, like down there. So it's a bit annoying sometimes. So let's put a bit of mud here. These are like little, little muddy, rocky cliffs maybe. There 
go, just scratching it into the canvas. Uh, Jemba, when is your next live? I'm not too sure. I try and do as many as I can, and I haven't been too too sort of well lately. What with the flu and things, so I try to I try to do one sort of two three times a week. I would do it more, but I'm getting such a collection of paintings that I'm having nowhere to put them. So literally, I'm cutting down because I need to shift some paintings, <laughs> basically. Right, let's have another. Maybe that one comes around there. See what I mean? The bottom of the canvas is a little bit in the way there. Maybe that's, that goes in there like that a little bit. Just spread all this mud about. These could, this can be like the edge of a cliff, rocky, like a little rocky cliff. And we'll put some highlights on there in a moment. Do you sell your painting? Yes, I do. They're all on my eBay, underneath my profile picture on on um, TikTok. There's a one link, and you can press that link, and it'll open up all all my social media and links. And yes, you're more than welcome to buy. I've got them on eBay, you can even send me offers. I need to sell some. <laughs> okay. Let's have that coming down there. Now, how far do we go over here? Because I can have some trees. Just scratching it, scratching it into the canvas at the moment. Uh, maybe we can have a little, I'm going to have to hold this up a little bit. Uh, maybe there's a little rock coming down there in the way. Try not to get it all over my little sign there. <laughs> we'll put some highlights on here soon. Okay, we can have some foliage coming around there and stuff, but that's the basic sort of shape of that. Um, uh, thanks for all the likes. Keep pressing the screen if you can, guys. It means a lot. Gets us seen right. Let's think about some highlights on here then. And then we can add some greenery and Making sure there's not too much paint on there. If you know what I mean. So yeah, that was the same colour as the um, mountain, I believe. I just used up, so. Hope everyone's keeping warm. It's freezing time. It is freezing. I come in this little room and I had to blast the heater on for like 10 minutes before I went live. Okay, so let's get. Let's get going. Um, right, I'm going to transfer a little bit of this, this to the board. I've got some white here. And I'm just going to try and show you guys. I've just added a bit of that brown that I've been using to, to some white. And I'm leaving it sort of marbly. And I, and I think that it needs a little bit of... I can use some of this. Hopefully you can see that guys. I'm trying to let you, let you see it. I'm gonna use some of this that I used earlier and add that in there. And I'm leaving it like, like marbly. Can you see that? It's not knocking it right up, but leaving it like marbly. Let's have a bit more of this. Maybe just even a touch more white. There's a troll in the dungeon. It's summer. Australia, Australia's summertime, yeah. Uh, who watched I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here? 
Right, so by dragging some of this down, I might even need a bit of a lighter colour actually. Let's go lighter. I need to see some like highlights and white, white and stuff so it looks like rocky. There we go. So it just makes it look like it's rock. Some little highlights here and there. Maybe on top of that rock, if I can get to it. I'm gonna add a load of trees in here and foliage, but I'm just like covering this. Maybe I'll just do this bit here, and then the rest is. Well, that was a big lump. That's good though, because that when that dries, that'd be like really textury, if you know what I mean. And maybe just a bit more here. Just dragging it down. Right, now we can add a load of green room. We can come right onto them rocks, so it closes it right in. Make a shh sound every time you add highlight. Am I actually doing that? Am I actually doing that? Is it annoying? <laughs> so, a a a a -S a -S -M -R. A -S -M -R. <laughs> Keep tapping the screen for us guys if you're enjoying it. Um right, okay, let's put some let's put some trees in and stuff, shall we? So I think what I've got here will do it. Maybe just add a little bit of something in there. Maybe we'll have one there. Let's see what colour that comes out. We could do that. We could do that a bit darker. I might even use some of this brown again off there, just to use it up and mix it in with the green. I want a dark colour for the trees, and then obviously like a dark green, and then we'll put highlights on the front. That's the idea. Sorry if you can't see, I'm just knocking up this colour. Yeah. Might need to turn the camera a little to see the right of the canvas. Can you not see the right of the canvas? Because on my, I've got the iPad running and, it, and you can see the right of the canvas. Are, are you on your phone or your? Hopefully you can see that now. I'm gonna add a bit of um, brown, some burnt, I think burnt umber, or Dick Van, I call it Dick Van Dyke, <laughs> it's called Van Dyke Brown. Just gonna add some of that on, just so we get like a darker color at the back. Just adding that little bit of brown in there. And we can add some trees here. Can you see? So I've got brown there. Brown and green mixed together. And I'm just tapping it on the board. We've got some dark areas. I better hold this canvas, otherwise it's gonna... We can come right down to there. There we go. 
and I can add all sorts of stuff in here now. This is just like the basic sort of background sort of colour to it. There's all that coming up there. Thousands of little leaves coming in there. That one needs to come up just a little bit. There. There we go. It's all coming together now. Why do I use such big brushes? Because it's easier and it does it so quick. And literally just tapping, literally just tapping, gives you so much, you know. Right, so we're gonna have some foliage over here and stuff. So let's just do maybe a little tree there. So I'm just putting the background color of the trees on basically. See all them little thousands of leaves just by tap. Yeah, we've got to put the um, top colour on yet, but maybe just a big tree over there. A big tree. See, instant leaves. It's instant. And it's all darker in here everything's gonna be we can put some trunks in some all kinds of different stuff right so we can put some highlights on there I'm gonna get some yellow I got some yellow out I'm gonna make a nice color for these trees Just pulling that down into the green and also just leaving a bit of yellow on on the brush maybe we can have this one here i think it's just a little bit more white in that i think that's you've got to make sure you get the colors right that that you want on there basically I think maybe a little bit of yellow ochre can be put in some of these trees as well. Uh, what paint paints are best and brushes? So I'm just using, I'm using this make. I think it's called Pebo, PBO. But yeah, I find it really nice. It's quite, quite cool. So we can put a little just add in little layers in here and there. This one's a different kind of bush on its own. Maybe we can have some over here. Just a little bit. It is quite a big brush actually. I can swap to the, the little one. And also put some more yellow on. I want some brighter areas as well. Yeah, just play around with the paints. I'm set here with it on my on my lap. And You don't want to cover up all this dark. You want to think where these are. I mean, I'm still pretty new to this, so I'm just like doing where I think parts of the tree would be. And you can put like, um, let me just, let me just knock up a bit of brown. You can put like tree trunks in and stuff like that quite easily we can do some of that now so I can just um cool that's really oily that paint I've just opened up a new paint it's very very oily at the top so you have to be careful of that thick oil yeah this is quite thick oil and then obviously sometimes you can it down 
just a bit so we can put some like some little tree trunks in there just literally tap the thing on there. Another thing I want to get good at is um, is using the um, script brush, you know? I've bought myself a script brush. So I can go, I can do, these are just like bits, but I can, I can go over some of these. And you you can scratch in some you can scratch in some um, little sticks and twigs afterwards and all sorts really. I've only done about five paintings. Everyone is overly impressed. I'm, however, very critical. All oh, right, yeah, I suppose, yeah. You can see very easy to be critical of your, of your own work and anyone else's really. But do you know what? Just say to yourself, let's just have fun. Let's just do it, have fun. Mistakes are gonna be made, or happy little accidents, as you would say. And just go with it. I might try the little script brush. I'm gonna leave that trunk there. Go back to put some um, highlights on wherever my little highlight brushes and just I might have a little go at the script brush and see if I can do some of them little things there Got a little bush there. All sorts of things coming down here. Look, that's make that into sort of grass coming on top of there. And I wanted to, if I can find my little, I don't know what, where my other fan brush is there. Okay, well, I need some yellow ochre. I'm just making these colours colours up as I go along really. So I've got some yellow ochre and some yellow. And you can just put some little stuff in there coming over. I don't really know what I'm gonna do there yet. Maybe some maybe some stuff coming down. And this can overhang, you know, you can put little bits in there. I'll do the same over this side. Maybe just a little bit brighter there. They're all hanging in there, coming over the edge. It's all growing. It's just hanging off the edge there, look. Coming down. Uh, layer on layer upon layer, very cool. Yes, it's wet on wet style. So, you know, as long as you keep on, I think, you know, planning it out as well. Maybe this comes down here, look, see? This this is growing all on top of there. And a little bit of green in there. I can do this bit in a minute as well. But it's all coming down. Little things growing here and there. Just tapping the brush on, and you got instant growth. Just all, you can do like little flick flick ups there as well. 
little tiny like mossy stuff growing there look yes it looks like mo yeah exactly thank you so much that's kind of the look I was going for look at this one your eyes see different as the painting develops it's so cool oh well done thank you yeah I suppose you have an eye you know a mind in your uh, an idea as I'm painting it but then I'll do something and you think oh actually it's gonna be like that you know there's a little cavity in there you know the way that just by putting that yellow on created that little cavity you know so yeah this, this is fun again we'll do some little flick ups there and we got some this is all growing down this is look see this is this is a little hill coming down in, fr in front of the rock maybe we can do that and there's a little bit growing on there look there's a little bits growing on there uh, it's coming down i want to cover up all of it but you can see where this is all growing and i'm working around in sort of a circle a semicircle as i'd say so it's coming around maybe there's a little bit hanging off there look a little bit hanging off a little the fan brush is brilliant absolutely brilliant maybe there's a little bush there look Yeah, we can put some uh, little bits up here. And I can also, if I clean my, let's just put these brushes down for a moment. Trying to remember which brushes are which. Look at the state of my board now, look. <laughs> that is something, isn't it? But the less paint you use, the better, obviously, because it costs less and and you've got more paint to paint other things with. So, but this is turning out all right. I'm quite happy with it so far. I'm gonna, have, I'm gonna finish off with some greenery down there. I'll finish this tree off, put some highlights on. Should we finish this tree off? On this side. Now, I've got myself a little script brush. I'm gonna be absolutely honest, I've never used one before. So I'm gonna give it a go now. So I'm gonna put a little bit of thinners on the on the brush into the brown and I'm going to try and do some little this could go horribly wrong so I'm I've just dipped it in a bit of thinners and I'm going to put this in the fan like brown just a little bit there so it's quite runny apparently this is what you do so we shall find out. Oh, it's working. Oh, I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. <laughs> How many boards are usually used in a piece? I've got about 50 behind me. <laughs> I, I, I've got three that I use. It's just for quickness while I'm live. Basically. It's pretty easy to wash them. I just put some brush cleaner over them and scrub them. So I'm, this is the first time I've used a script brush, so, you know. I, I need some more thinner, definitely. This is enjoyable though, definitely enjoyable. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm glad I got the script brush because it's very, very thin. And it's a learning curve, it's something I've learnt today and you guys have been here with me doing it, so. We've got some little branches going there. Maybe that one comes out there. An old tree there. We've got some little Little ones coming off of it there. 
it, this is very delicate. Very delicate. Very delicate. I think just one more limb coming out there. And have some going that way, not straight out. Some coming towards you, like here and there. That makes it look a bit more 3D. I think that looks okay. It's like an old dead thing. We can put some highlights on the side of that as well. So if I just grab some, grab a little bit more white. I've got a tiny, I've got a tiny bit of white here. And you can just, ah, uh, got a bit. Oh, that was too much. Too much highlight really, but I can sort that out. He says, <laughs> where's my script brush? But it's just to make it look old, the bark's old, you know. There you go, look, it's easy. very happy accents, no mistakes. It just gives that old barky sort of look. How do you, how do you think that looks? How do you think that looks, guys? You see, I mean, you know, when you have got time, you can just, you know, do these. So it looks a bit dead, yeah? Yeah, it does, I'm quite happy with it. Just, um, sim just a simple little bit of white paint, we have a little bit there, a little bit up there, and then leave it alone, I think. I'm happy with the script brush. I've learned something today. Okay. Well, there's still some stuff to do. Let's put... I need to put some land in, don't I? I haven't put any land in up the top there. And I'm a bit concerned because this paint that I've got is quite runny. Um, see if I can just get a bit of... Uh... Right, let's just see if I can just put a little bit Not too much, just just hints of like land there, you know. And what's the time anyway? How long is it? Oh, okay, so I've been on about an hour. Okay, so I've got some grey as well, some like grey that I've, and then I'll just touch from the, from down here, and then just touch. Touch. There. There. Just touching that. Just give that little bit of land. Right. Now, let's get some yellow, some brighter. A bit more of a brighter green down here, I think, as it comes down. And we're not far from done. And I've got to do highlights over there as well. I'm gonna get some yellow ochre on the board. Sorry, I'm, if I'm not showing you, I've got some more colors there. So we can have this all coming down here. Maybe a bit of green in that. Quite right. very vibrant green, that one I picked up. That just, Oh, that's nice. I've got a bit of green and yellow ochre there. I'm just filling all this in. That's coming down. I can add some different flavours in a minute as well. Flavours. <laughs> just 
fill that in that does the rest of the painting and I'll add some little highlights in as well in a minute that just we've got a bit of green there look bit of green coming down there and we're not we're not far away from done actually it's not turning out about bad painting do I have kids no I don't have kids um I never met the right woman never trusted them <laughs> no never had kids I wanted to but do you know what I don't know if I want them now or not I suppose if I met the right person I don't know sometimes I think to myself I enjoy the peace and quiet you know I'll just leave that little bit of whatever that is there muddy sort of well, I'm just dipping back into the yellow. The bright yellow. And just putting some more here. Just to give it a bit more. There we go. Right. Right, I can put some highlights up there. I'm going to put some... We're not far from done, put some tree lines in there. Uh, might feel confident enough to use the script brush. Should we just see how this goes? So this is actually a Bob Ross script brush. So I might even know how to learn how to, how to sign my name. The trouble is, I mean, my second name's quite long. So I don't really want, I mean, something like Carl, my first name, would be pretty easy. Oh, this is very easy to do the trees with the script brush. They just literally, a bit of thinner, and I'm just rolling it in there, literally into a point. I'm just doing all these little sticks and stuff, and they'll show through when I put the highlight, highlighted colour on. It's a very good brush. Uh, still waiting to meet right, right mine. Yeah, initials. Yeah, I, I mean I done initials on some of my other ones, um, but I don't like the way I done it. It almost looks like a um, <laughs> how do you say like a Nazi? I done like a C, and then an M like that, and then flipped the M. But it looks a bit like the um, you know the Nazi sign. <laughs> so I'm not. I need to change it. I, don't, I can't do that. So I'm just putting some little twigs in here. And we'll put some highlights on. Nice to have you all here, if you're all still here. There's 49 of you still here. Can we get to like 20k likes before I finish the painting? That would be great. We're at 16,000 at the moment. That's 4,000 taps on the screen. I know it's a lot to ask, but it'd be pretty cool if we got there. Um, I think 21,000 is my highest ever likes in a stream. So we're pretty close. We're pretty close. So, let's go back to this. Um, well, I used a different brush, didn't I? I used this. Um, let's put that down there. And I'm just gonna... Right, let's go. Put some yellow on this side. There, you can still still see the trees, you know, the twigs through it. I like that old tree. I'm happy with that. Go round like that. And it's important not to go over the whole lot because you need to leave that some of that dark in there. Otherwise, it won't show. See, that's that's the idea of build, building the colours up. I've done the dark. And then the light on top, tree in between. I'm gonna put maybe put a bit of white highlights on that. Yeah, I don't know. So I'm gonna, I've got a bit of yellow ochre here that I'm dipping my brush into, and maybe just there's one there and a little bit there, just for a change. Right, I think I'll leave that like that. 
that's enough. And we'll put a little bit. Well, I'm going to stand back quickly and just have a look at the painting. You should always do that. And I just—I know there's a few more bits to do, but I need to stand back and look at it and just take it in for a moment. I think I'm very happy with the mountains. I really do like that that bit there as well. Just that little glow. The clouds look okay. Um, I'd mark myself. Um, I think I'd mark myself a seven if I was marking myself seven, maybe an eight. I don't know. But I'll let you have a closer look as well in a minute. Oh my gosh, I nearly sat on the. Um, I put the I put the palette on my um, chair and I nearly, I nearly sat on that, guys. I've done that before. Right, um, let's see. Right, I've got this here. I've noticed a little bit up there I need to do. Well, I've picked it up. Um, is there anything else I said I was going to do? I'm going to put some water lines in as well. I'll put some water lines in. Quite a nice reflection there. Let's read some comments. Um, got my hundred taps in. Oh, thanks, Mick. Water line. Yeah, water line. Just said that. Um, it's your best yet. Oh, thank you, Charles. Now, much appreciated. It's a ten from me. Thank you so much. I love the mist around the base of the mountain. Yeah, so easy to do as well. You see, just there. Literally, just. I don't know if you hear from the start, but just tapping that. Great picture. I wish I could do it. You can. You can do it. You can watch this back on my YouTube channel. Pause it paint it, copy what I'm doing, do your spin on it. You can do it, you can do it. For so long I had the stuff and I was so scared. Trust me, you can do it, you can do it. And once you do it, you get the most amazing feeling. You really do. And it's such an, an amazing feeling to have you guys here as well, to watch me do it. And, you know, for, for nice comments as well, it means a lot to me. And the followers and the likes, the gifts. Just just someone saying it looks good is such a nice thing. I, yeah, I started this year. I started this year. So if, if I can do it, I'm, I've been a painting decorator all my life. And I've always been interested in art. But I'm oil painting now and I started in March. And then I had like two or three months off because I built this room. I built this room for this. And then, and then I've gone back into it. I think I listed 21 paintings on eBay earlier. They used to be on Etsy, but I've listed on eBay now. So you can make me an offer for any, any that you like. But I've done probably about 30 paintings this year. So this is probably my painting number 30. Um, right, I'm gonna get a bit of, um, white and put some water lines in. I'm not going to go too mad. I quite like the um, stillness of that um... right. Honestly just got the tiniest bit of white. It's actually got a little bit of brown mixed into it but it's still okay. Just what I had on the palette knife. I don't know if you can see that. And we're going to put some little So far away, you can't see too much. Now, so I'm just trying to drag this across and to put sparkles in it, sparkles. Some little, some little sparkles of water. I'm gonna try and read 
the comments. I'm going to start to do this so I can breathe, breathe from my depression. This is very good for depression. I've had depression before. It can spiral right down. Just, yeah, keep busy. Do something. Just however hard it is, keep doing it. The chapel ceiling. Yeah. Okay. Just little sparkles. Maybe more here. Not so much lines, but sparkles. Oops, I just dipped it in the brown, that's no good. There we go, just some little sparkles there, nothing too mad. And maybe if I can find the right brush, which I think is this one, yeah, I can put some little splashes up on them rocks down there. Just some extra little things to say the water's coming, it's falling down. Got the right colour water there, I think. It, it, you've got the greeny sort of blue, and then it coming down, it's a bit more brighter blue down there because it's in the stream. You've got the rocks. Um, right, okay. I'm, near, I'm gonna call this painting done in a minute, guys, I think. Um, I'll just put a few little highlights on there. Just tiny, tiny. It's not dead, but it's just, just a few little highlights. There. Just feel like a little bit of bark. bark. Right, guys, um, we're at 22.2k likes. I appreciate everyone that's tapped the screen. I appreciate everyone that's followed. Um, and yeah, tapping the screen, I mean, come on, guys, you've probably got blisters. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, much appreciated. Um, I think that, you know, I think that's literally done now. I just try to think if there is anything else more. But um, I can give you a closer look as well. I've got the nice job of cleaning all the brushes, the palettes. But I should definitely do that in the morning. Um, let's just see. Um, what's the sub goal? In, if anyone would like to sub, I think it's like £4.50 a month. Um, that helps me out. I think I've got two subscribers. Um, Jerry and um, I don't think the other person's here tonight but yeah you can subscribe it's at the top of the screen somewhere um, somewhere around there and uh, that would be much appreciated but you don't have to if you don't want to um, really nice to have 49 people still here at the end should we, um, let me just start. I'm just gonna have a stand back and have a look at the painting once more time. And then I'll give you guys a closer look. Just give me one second. Oh, there we go. Right, so. So. Yeah, look guys, this is the mess. There's you lot over there. 
let's have a look at some of the comments. What have we got there? Paint some flowers, mushrooms, or little under the tree. Oh, I would, yeah, I know, I can go on forever. I might, you know, I sometimes add a little bit afterwards, but I think that, I think. Okay, so there we go. Nice dead tree. I mean, that's the size of the painting. There's the size of my hand. I don't want to touch it, but. 